All right, ain't this ludicrous? What a coincidence. It's ludicrous without tied bridges, without disturbing the peace. Well, actually it is. It says police and nurses are getting fired for not taking a pig sticker. Police and nurses are getting fired for not taking the pig juice, the wax scene. Ain't it a turn of events right now? Okay, so maybe you should quit. Maybe you should get your own business. This is Anti-Job University where we are anti nine to fives and we are all about freedom. And when you are employed, even if you are an officer of the law or a nurse of a, a, a hospital, if you want to call it that, you are not above getting kicked out if you refuse to poison without Bell Bill DeVoe's permission. Okay, so it says, call me crazy, but I think public servants should first and foremost serve the public, okay? Well, I agree, even though, um, you know, a police officer earlier uh, shot a lady in the face from uh, a college and, and everything like that, but let's just see what it's talking about. That's not to say they deserve fewer individual rights than others, but it is to say they should understand the trade-off between those rights and the rights of the public whose interests they were put in place to protect. All right, so what they're about to go into, and this is a form of bullying, guys, I want y'all to understand that when, when it says that you have rights in these constitutions and everything, they're not being truthful, man. So, you know, they won't come out clearly and tell you that you don't have rights, but what they'll do is they'll manipulate you and they'll bully you and they'll psychologically trick you and mind F you into making you do what you want, uh, they want you to do and go against your own rights anyway. So if you have the right to refuse the poison, then you have the right to do that no matter what your nine to five job is, if you're a police officer or a nurse. But what they're gonna do is use the fact that you're supposed to be a, 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 a protecting and serving, but when you're shooting people down, they're not talking about you're supposed to be protecting and serving. But now that you don't wanna support their uh, their sick movement of pig juice and baby gut juice. Uh, now that you don't want to support that, they will fire you. But guess what? Officers of the law and nurses of the system, if you had your own businesses, you know, for now, you would be protected. I'll say for now, because they're going to start making it to where you can't go into stores, you can't grocery shop, you can't fart, you can't do nothing unless you get the needle. All right. Ain't it funny how all these people that don't want to be stuck on stuff end up trying to force the needle on you, man. Force the needle, man. All right. It's so many people trying to get off the needle in the hood. Quit trying to force the needle on people. All right. So now even <laughs> you might have thought you were above the law, but you're not. All right. And you might have thought you had rights too, but you don't. Okay. <laughs> even if you're an officer of the law, you don't have rights either because they're gonna bully you until you quit. And then one day they're gonna knock on the door and they're gonna tell you, you gotta take it anyway. So you can walk off all you want, okay? That includes people who are employed by law enforcement, military and healthcare services, whom have over the last year and year and a half been heralded in some circles as vital responders who have helped keep society running through the pandemic, all right? This is why I've had very little patience in these fields who have refused the vaccination. How dare you? Okay, I'm so sick of these people in this stupid generation, these people who, who wanna talk all that patient stuff and then force their ways on people. You know what's funny? Everybody used to talk about Jehovah Witnesses because Jehovah Witnesses would knock on the door and it seemed like they're forcing their religion on you. But okay, how you gonna force this, this pig juice on people then? Okay, like, like how you gonna force it? Okay, for those who wanna get it, let me be clear. Let me be clear. If you wanna get it, then get it. Look, I don't care. You know what I'm saying? Do your thing. But for other people, then leave them alone. It's just like y'all uh, who, who wanna, uh, you know, be with the same sex marriage. If a person don't wanna do it too, now they're against you. You know what I'm saying? If that's what you want, then that's what you want. You, know, you can't make people like it, okay? So if they are an officer of the law, which I ain't never taken up for the police or anything like that, but if they are officer of the law, their job is to protect and serve that with the law. It is not a law against refusing pig and baby juice guts and all of that crap that's inside there. That's not against the law, 
But what they're gonna do is they're gonna try to bully you. They're gonna bully you into quitting, and then they're gonna turn your family and everybody against you. Now the one that was so big and bad and tough running around shooting innocent black men, now you are unemployed, looking like a bum, you dang on self, right? All right, and now the people are gonna turn on you and wanna come after you with the pitchforks because you won't take the pig juice like them. All right, so after the judge denied the union's request to put the governor's order on hold, the president of the union put out a statement claiming that dozens of troopers have already submitted their resignation paperwork, some of whom plan to return to other departments offering reasonable alternatives such as mask wearing and regular testing. Listen, man, listen, I just want y'all to notice that nobody's, nobody's passed away from the flu, which was horrible. You know what I'm saying? Those numbers they're talking about is a... Uh, seem like the same numbers as the flu, right? So everything is just up under that now. Everything. If you go, if you get shot in the leg and you go to the doctor, if you go to the doctor, get, get it sewed up, they're going to say that's what you're there for. You're going to look at your clipboard and it's going to say you're being treated for, for you know what. <laughs> if, if, if a booger gets stuck in your nose and you need help re retracting it, they're going to say you're there for that. All right. If you got to uh, have a baby removed or get a C-section, they're going to say you're there for that. And anybody that says you're there for anything other than that, they're going to say you're a conspiracy theorist and you hate your own country and then and, and, and you're against everybody with this sensitive boy. Anyway, my point is, guess what, nurses and police? If you want to free yourself from discrimination of, uh, uh, of your own departments and, and unions that once acted and pretended like they cared about you, then you should go ahead and join the movement in Anti-Job University and turn your passions into cash. And maybe this is an opportunity to, you know, figure out what you actually want to do with your life. Maybe start a business, do something different. You know what I'm saying? Take those skills you learned and do something different. If you're a police officer, you probably have combat training or something. Why don't you open up a dojo, martial arts studio, or create some type of uh, training for how to interact with the with the with the you know public if you're a police officer or something like that and if you're a nurse there's so many different things you can come up with to start a business in the health industry starting channels and all of that extra stuff do that use your brain for something other than being a slave to these freaking industries anyway okay unshackle yourself you don't have to go and take the pig juice if you don't freaking want to let them talk stuff do what you want to do man and uh that is not against serving and protect because is no is no proof that if you don't get this pig juice uh, uh um needle that you will be more contagious there's no proof it ain't no proof they can talk numbers all they want but none of us actually know it and they don't know either but they'll put on their suits and ties and they'll put on their lab coats and since we're sheep We'll just see that and be impressed and say, oh, they know they have all these years. They don't have all these years. I thought it was something new. Didn't it just pop up a year ago or a couple years ago? So nobody is a dang on specialist on this. Do you guys understand that? Okay, so quit being freaking mind slaves, all right? And wake up. None of them know. None of them know. It might just be the flu. It might just be Ebola. It might be something else. It might not be any freaking thing, guys. But guess what? You're losing your jobs over it. <laughs> you know, but guess what? God wants you to do something else then. Do something better then. All right? Break that system anyway. All right. Love you guys. See you.